Hello everyone. So DJI has released the latest firmware version V01.05 on the 6th of August. I'm going to show you whether this version can fix the interruption issue when you switch between front and rear screen during recording. If you haven't done firmware upgrade before, I will show you the procedures at the end of this video. Alright, let me test the Osmo action while I'm waiting for my friend in the car. So now the Osmo action is recording, let me press the QoS button and see what happened. Yeah, it works! It's still recording. So looks like the issue has been fixed in this version. Let me switch back to the real screen. Yes, still recording. Yeah. But one thing to look is that you cannot use the force control or double tap for screen switch with the latest firmware. If you look at the video in the bottom right corner, there's no interruption when you switch screen during recording, which is great news. So we have just tested the recording in video mode, we now test in the slow motion mode. Let me switch the front screen. Yeah, it works as expected, it's still recording. Again, we can only use this QS button to switch screen, but not the force control or double tap the screen. I hope DJI can enhance it in the next version. Switch back to the front screen. Yes, yeah, still recording. So I have put the official link from DJI in the description section uh, of my video which shows you how to update Optimal Actions firmware. And I hope DJI can fix the rocksteady screen lag issue very soon. Okay, that's all for the firmware testing. Thank you for watching and hope you found it useful. If you want to see more awesome action testing or accessory review, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye!